Did you get that? Awesome indeed. Isn't it though? That's so great. I love it. Welcome to the Doncast. Still going, man. Oh, it's so loud. Still going, man. Well, welcome to uh, episode two of uh, the, the Don Loans Podcast, affectionately known as Doncast. <laughs> That's right. Still going, man. Episode two. That's it. We're doing it. We may we were back for another round. The first episode, uh, we discussed how we met. Yep. Uh, the, our our origin stories, as it were. <laughs> how you got your powers? That's right. That's right. Uh, including musical superpowers, and we True. discussed our a bit of our background. Uh, and here on episode two, we pick up with well, oh, and we talked about. We should keep track of which tracks we have talked about. Sure. So uh, we did Organic House and uh, Answer in the Man. Oh, we tried to endure it. And there was some bonus, too. Yeah, we did. We did, we're, we did a bonus track. We'll, we'll do one of those tonight, too. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. We're glad that you're joining us for episode two. Don Cast, a history of the Don Loans Project, brought to you by myself, Chris Smith, and Jacob Snyder. Presented to you proudly by the Information Center. That's right. Sponsorship uh, opportunities exist, and feel free to be in touch with us. Yeah, reach Uh, out. Reach out. Jacob, what's been riveting in your week? This week in riveting? um, Well, uh, geez. I think we've been pushing for uh, culturally aware yet... uh, you know, trying to find that fine line between that and uh, some semblance of normalcy. So that's, that's been a hoot. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's working out. I mean, what's, what's new and riveting? Uh, I, I, made I a, heard, I, I made heard a hammer today. I made yeah, a hammer. You, you made a hammer of justice. Mm-hmm. Well, that remains to be seen right now. It's just a hammer. Uh, but yeah, no, I made a, a a carpenter's hammer, a claw hammer today. I forged nice. one. Forged one in the old coal forge. And yeah, that was that was fun. I've been making a few hammers and uh you know that's uh that's what I do now at the end times. <laughs> How about you? What's, forging what's new? with metal. That's right, that's right. It's just me and the hammer and the anvil and the coal fumes and you know, that's good to go. But what's new in uh, what's new in your world? What's new in riveting with you? Uh, this week in riveting, most relevantly riveting to this podcast, Doncast, oh. Oh. is the completion of uh, this generation's oh, uh, bonus materials. Talking and about my generation. Talking about my my generation's bonus materials. These are now available to you on the very uh youtube channel that you are listening to now there is a record setting uh, number of bonus tracks yeah what is it like 76 or something it's actually more oh my god even more there's also some bonus albums that include um (laughs) your favorite songs that are related to christmas you and i did a christmas ep there is how to build your own Don Loans project. That was cool. We walked through some songs. There's an evening with. That's right. Uh, the Don Loans project, but the bonus. That's riveting enough, right there. Boy, I'd say that was a hell of a haul. You you really uh, you really put your heart and soul into going through all that stuff. Well, you know, I am in the process of moving. I'm a, I'm moving about a mile and a half away from where I sit now. And I'm on a mission that I'm not moving with a box of unmarked blank discs. I have no interest in that. Uh, I'm too old and I've got too much time on my hands. So I'm proud to say that project is over. Phase zero. That's so great. Done. That's awesome. You know, go ahead and, and enjoy so much of what we produced and it never made it to any collection that we were putting together at the time. Yeah. Well, there's so much material. I mean, you know, if you figure if 
we never made many rules, but it, you know, if we made any, it was typically we would we would try to polish off a song start to finish, uh, at least with a rough mix and all the parts uh, every time we got together. So to put all those times together, that's that's a lot of stuff. It's true. And so much of this was physical media where I'm living in Newfane and you're living in Bennington <laughs> and I drive over the hill with a disc saying, mm-hmm. man, I just did this. You got to check this out. And you have already produced me a disc saying, yeah. here, you got to check this out. And then I leave your house with another disc. Well, in a, and that's in addition to the song that we would collaborate on at the same time that evening or whatever. So, you know, yeah, I guess then we would, we would sort of, every time we got together, there'd be three songs, sometimes more. Right. Wow, right. That's crazy. That's uh, crazy to think about. So some of the compact discs that I've been looking at from 03, 04, around the period when we're talking about here, there, so many of the tracks repeat, but oh, then yeah. there's those one or two new ones that we had just come up with. Right. And those quick mixes on the fly inside of Cool Edit Pro. You're a Cool Edit Pro. And it sounded good at that moment at some of these are labeled late in the, in the evening, early in the morning, 1, <laughs> 2, 3 a.m. And you and I have worked so diligently for six or seven or eight hours on a track because we weren't sure what we were doing, but we had so much willpower well let's not forget we were a lot younger and we also had a lot of time plus we were we were you know we're broke with very little to do (laughs) so that wasn't it wasn't all that bad either i mean i think i think those were the days that my diet was mostly like gin and hot dogs you would come over the gin and hot dogs Still going, man. This was a gin and hot dogs night. Oh, for sure. We used no. I mean, so many, so many of those. Uh, well, some of the songs we're going to discuss tonight off the, our very first album, if 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 you will. Um, I think they were all during during that period when you were living in New Fane and I was in uh, in Bennington, freshly minted in Bennington. That's right, and we had gear. All right, let me let me play the first song on Sound Blaster. Oh, uh, that's right. So yeah, I had an EMU 0404. You were way you, ahead of the curve. You had a Sound Blaster, Blaster, Blast Man. The Blast Man. Yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> kind of blaster. The blaster was really cool. It was uh, it w- audio interfaces were expensive at that time. Um, anything that would do even a couple channels was it was expensive and they were bulky and they needed all kinds of crazy stuff but sound blaster had this cool thing that was just uh plug and play usb and it would give you two channels in two channels out real time so if you had a small mixer then you could plug anything into it oh i i can picture it now yeah the behringer mixer so many of the, I think every effect on this album is courtesy of that mixer. <laughs> That's right, because the Behringer mixer had built-in effects. Yes, which you could you could select you could select uh, between them, and I think you could. I think there might have been simple controls for like adjusting the depth and the rate and decay or something like that for some of the modulation effects. But um, it was pretty much all just here's your little knob of twelve effects you know, do your worst. And we did. (laughs) We did. We did. We did our worst and our best. Hey, would you pick two numbers between one and 17? Sure. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, four and uh, 13. Four and 13. So I have a disc here labeled with Sharpie that says DLP one. Oh, cool. I don't think it is not the final pressing, but Track one struck me. Check this out. They told me that the sun was getting pretty bright. The 
the experts all agreed that everyone was right. We were in a plight, it was gonna hit tonight. So I sold all my land to a guy down the street. Didn't talk about the sun, and I knew I had a beat. Went downtown to have a bite to eat. The sun was getting lower, I could feel its heat. After I ate, I felt like a nap. But the sun was coming, stupid piece of crap. It was gonna kill us all, I felt very small. Hey, let's stop there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, because the song goes into a B part. As many of them do. Yeah. Somehow we always felt like there had to be some wildly contrasting B part to our compositions, and that gave them a worthiness. What did we just hear? There was trumpet, as uh, we all know. Trumpet, and it sounded like maybe like chopsticks on the table. Yep. Um, and some guitar and some synth and vocals. Yeah, the synth was very whiny, but there was, was there electric guitar and acoustic guitar? I think there was. Uh, I heard just electric, but you know, you never know. Well, I hear the strumming guitar, but then you, you got to listen close for the bass line. I don't have to listen close. No, no, no. no. <laughs> your, your bass line is great. A boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Boom, yeah, there boom, is bass. Boom. <laughs> there's bass, but then I think there's a guitar doubling it. And if you, probably if that you, was a that was yeah. a common thing, then it still is. Right. Um, you know, and there's chords to this song. This is not an answer quality song yet. Well, I mean, it, you mean it's better or worse? <laughs> I. Oh, I I think it's much better than answer. Answer yeah, is one of the worst too. things we've ever. You know, put to put to digital it's of, tape. Some of the worst things humankind has ever been subjected to. But you know, this was within six weeks of doing answer. I bet you this track. <coughs> yeah. So. Yeah. And if you doubt that there's <coughs> extra bonus guitar over dubers in this song, oh, get ready. You remember oh, yeah, this part? This part. Some some real metal. It sounds very far away. Oh yeah, and there's like a whirly synthesizer in the back. I can't really hear it on this end. But still, I was there for it. I remember still going. Oh, yeah, we probably felt like we had to do it like 16 times or something. I think here's the... Uh, no? No, oh. no, I told you. <laughs> what, a tran what a transition. Yeah. Yeah, so this is an apocalyptic song. I love the bass line. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> So that middle part that is when the sun sun really does show up. And that's then, when that's when they get a, a cue that things are going awry. Yeah. And this is written past tense. Right. Well, it's, <laughs> it's something starting. happens here. Get ready. Nope. 
I think that's it. Maybe. Quality ending. <laughs> it just faded out there, it says. <laughs> wow. That's, it's an early mix of what would become known as we didn't think it, would, it was going to be the sun. Right. 2004 yep. song you and I wrote thinking that the sun was going to end the world. That's one idea. Yeah. Uh, but I like how it starts out where, you know, you know, just, uh, Oh, this is, you know, I woke up and this eh, seemed like the sun was a little brighter than normal. Whatever. I go out, I get something to eat. <laughs> Soul on my land to a guy down the street. You know, that's, I think that's when it starts to hit that, uh, that this might be the, the time to kick. <laughs> Wow. I wonder, what did we think we were going to put over those 16 repetitions of electric guitar? Because they go on a long time. It does sound like the sun is, is you know. I don't know. We could have gone around with four bars of that. It would have been fine. <laughs> those are the but even of... once, even just once would have been fine. No, I or, think... or, no, or none at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to remember... Um, I, f I think that was the first time you would introduce me to the money ball of pain because that does make an appearance in that part. Oh, that's that, that swirly kind of sound that's going on in the background. Yeah, that's that circuit bent, weird globe techno drone thing that you had. Uh, and yeah, that's that, that maybe that, maybe that was the, the impulse for, some kind of spherical object coming to kill you. <laughs> that might have been it. We didn't think. Maybe it was very hot that day. <laughs> Talk about this week and riveting. Maybe ever, it was. Maybe it was very hot that day. <laughs> did you ever think of that? <laughs> Sixteen years ago. It's early I wonder. If, wonder if that was a warm day. I yeah. drive over in a Buick. <laughs> That Buick, man, that brown Buick, that thing, the, the doors, uh, it was a coupe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it might have been that. It might have been the Jimmy. But the, the doors on that Buick are literally as long as my Subaru is now. And, and that thing, good God, riding in that thing, you felt like, you felt like some sort of <laughs> two-bit gangster, but not really all at the same time. That's a great car. Well, whatever car I was driving, I had giant old stereo speakers in the back seat, sometimes buckled in. And right. when I got to your house, I would bring a receiver mm -hmm. or, and then something else so that I could plug a keyboard into the receiver and use one of those stereo speakers as a kind of amplifier. Well, I think it was right around then too that I got a second four channel mixer and I recall we used to we used to throw all your keyboards through that and then into the uh <laughs> the receiver and the big speaker. That's right. That's right. And the big speaker, there were variations on it, but there was one that man, many, many times. And leaving your house, Bennington, middle of the night, two, three AM. <laughs> Driving across the Green Mountains. Driving around. over the mountain, yeah. Oh, man. So many good memories. Are you ready for another track? Yeah, let's have one. All right, here's, this is the first of your two picks. Okay. It's track number four. Ooh. Wow, I haven't heard this in a while. No bass. 
Not yet. We were probably playing to a click track. Oh, for sure. That guy on the keyboards doesn't really know what to do. Oh, that guy's doing great. He's holding it down. I could do what do less of that low tone. Oh, I like it. It takes over the my nerves. Bass. We didn't know what an EQ was. I can't even hear it on my end. Ah. Well, the tone, I mean. Right. Here comes the big change. Yeah, so what song is this? <laughs> this is uh, In the Fall. Oh. <laughs> this is some amateur songwriting right here. You get you asked me to pick numbers, not, not names. Oh, I understand. It's okay for us to take on things we don't know that we did. Nate my neighbor's plants. And I won't see him again. I won't see him again till next fall. This is gonna be agony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. What let's on... get to the let's go let's go to another stallion. No, let's just talk over it. Well So let's let's decompress for a minute and take <laughs> in what we just heard. <laughs> it's a track called In the Fall. I heard some Sick. acoustic guitar. I must say your acoustic guitar work. Very diligent. Thank you, sir. It's like Thank a machine. You. Well, it's and there. it's often what happens first on a Don Lones track is your guitar. You no, 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 no. Well, no. sometimes. No, it's all. It's it's most often a click. Well, yeah, a click, and then your guitar, and then we kind of know where the breaks are and stuff. Um, but yeah, there, there does seem to be a propensity for starting with guitar. I don't know why that is. This is a waltz. And I, I just, I'm not, not really, there's very few songs that are in 3-4 that I enjoy. Really? So, this was, yeah, I don't know why, but it's always how gotten do, under my skin. How do you feel about 6-8? See, I can deal with 6-8 in a whole <laughs> different way. I know. Well, it's a whole different thing. I, you know, I just thought I'd ask. We've done that 3-4, 6-8 thing a few different times. We, it won't be long before we get to a track where that happens. Oh, I'm sure. It's a um, classic there's keyboard aversion. here. I think my biggest aversion to this song are the lyrics. We're both yeah. big Steely Dan fans, and the idea that we're going to take on like a persona and write as a person. We have that. We had that notion going into this, and we did. I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say I, I remember that, but I believe it. <laughs> yeah, no, because there's there's uh, descriptions of actions that neither one of us have done. Ah, uh, yeah, we yeah, I guess we we didn't do that too much. The one that, that will, will break, break my leg, my leg. <laughs> and my head. <laughs> my next fall. You know, I'll say one thing about this track though. While it is sort of monotonous and whatever. You know, it does start to get into some word wordplay on the on the lyrics. It's true. We were trying, but it's it gets there. We have other, you know. There's a couple other tracks in this album that really shine. I think in terms of, you know, some stuff we more towards what we were shooting for. That's right. And let it be known, that's an early mix of in the fall. We fixed everything before we yeah. let it. <laughs> in the fall, sounded so much better on the release. Yeah. So much better. You know, it's uh, funny, though. There's a whole track of me, like, singing in the background. And was it a live performance with, like, you're doing something and I'm doing something and we got a mic in the room and then we do it again? And uh, I think we, that was one of those. I'm sure that was one of those where uh, we, we both tried to do the vocal tracks at the same time. Right. Right. So, like, when I was... When I was doing a verse, you were doing the hey, hey, hey all the <laughs> right. and then you right. know when you were singing, I was going, you know, right. whatever. You, like, 
you've heard the phrase uh, work smarter, not harder. We were doing neither. No, we were just working. <laughs> uh, so let's, uh, we have two more tracks from this mystery disc circa DLP one. Can we get, I remember you to do on there. I think, I think we, we're going to go through these now, coming up next. It's number 10. And now the number 10 song in the land. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I like this song. I like this better than anything else we put on this Doncast. This is a good tune. This is an early disc. Spacemen are coming, just like David Bowie said they would. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take that in for a second. Spaceship situation. Yeah, this is another one of these earth, earth shattering numbers. <laughs> I don't know why all this shit from space is happening in this one. The first the fucking sun's coming, and now it's goddamn spacemen. Well, I, now I think, you know, I was, I've always been very, very into the Twilight Zone. Oh, me too. Uh, you know, you know. Star Trek over Star Wars. Oh, and for sure. I think we share in common an interest in science and an interest in science fiction. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and for sure. when it came to, okay, let's write a song about something. You know, some sort of spaceship situation. Yeah, it's low-hanging fruit. That's for sure. Yeah. No, um, I got you. Now, the vocal's a little off. There's a little couple mystery notes in there. I love the uh, tiny lights from oh, the yeah. background. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, that was me here live in oh. 2020. Oh, it's, I thought I'm that sorry. Was, no, I loved it. We yeah. should have been in there the first time. A little callback. Tiny lights. Um. I think and, the other thing is, you know, through any of these songs, the, and I, I would say it almost doesn't matter which project we were working on. I think the, the science and science fiction thing, but also, uh, and I just want to say this about the vocals, um, you and I have always had some sort of strange fascination with like, like 60s, 50s, 60s era lounge singers. Is that, am I wrong to say that? Oh, I don't think sure. I Absolutely. I'm, Our Sinatra. We'll get yeah. to that later so, on when we take but I think that, that on full, full throttle. I think that informs a lot of the, uh, especially a lot of this early stuff. You know, you get the tiny lights. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Now, so. I got to say, you made choices and good creative choices in constructing the bass and the guitar lines. And I'm not sure if the guitar is going <coughs> up and the guitar is going up and the bass is going down. Wah, 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 nah. uh, 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 uh. I think, I think I it's th just a straight blues. Well, I think it's a straight blues, but I think you know that you're going to be doing the bass line. And well, there might be a little walking of the bass or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool is what it is. If the vocals weren't there, I'd be much more entertained. And this song has a fantastic B part. Oh, it does have a This is another one of our famous B parts. This is a famous verse, too, is what this is. Oh, yeah, this isn't a B part. Oh, 
That's a good lyric. A different land, a different hand. <laughs> well, that's good wordplay. I might have sawed a different land. I might have sawed off my hands. Here's the B part. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more David Bowie moment. Yeah. <laughs> the spacemen are coming. There is no B part. There, it's at the end, I think. I love how we're trying to dissect songs. We're like, what happens? <laughs> yeah. Peaceful greetings. It spoke to me in tongues I knew. <laughs> Left the room. Fire. Here's your B part. Whoa. This has some circuit bending, too, I think. Sixteen times, I bet you. I'll bet you. change I bet it goes back into it uh, that's it huh well that's creative you know yeah how do you think we got that fuzz base boom, uh, boom, it's probably an accident boom, boom, <laughs> something, boom. something was probably shit in the bed Oh, dude, I really like how the fuzz bass and uh, you you would be a happy man if you got paid well to just lay bass lines and then acoustic guitar or electric guitar on top of them because there's so much of that in our work and it really gives it musical character. <laughs> character? I'm I'm telling a character like what we just heard, acoustic guitar plus bass line, that happens all the way up through everything we've done. Either acoustic or electric guitar doubling the bass. Well, you know who else did that? Who? A little a little band called the Beatles. Well, that's <laughs> that's why we are where we are. You know who else did that? A little band called Every Other Band. <laughs> hey, man. No, it's good. I think I think it's great. I'm just making a joke. Uh, spaceship Situation, very interesting song. Very interesting. Is there much to unpack there? I don't think so. It's a song no. about, you know, a teeny little spaceship that shows up, and then, you know, you have to fight it off like it's a fly or something. I got to say the vocal I'm not happy about, but I hear – the natural acoustics of your living room there in Bennington. Time and a place. That is back back in the day, back in the barn. Yeah, on the barn apartment. Yeah, not not my current residence, which is uh, not unlike you, like thousands of feet away. <laughs> but let it be known. Let it be known. It was it was uh, like a plywood particle board throughout, and it had a giant slanted ceiling. 
Well, it was, it was all rough board. It was like barn board on the inside. And then, yeah, it had, uh, it was like a shed roof attached onto the side of a barn. So there was, you know, just a peak on the one side. I definitely I, made for some interesting and weird recording environment. That's for sure. Right. Uh, and I wonder if things sounded good in that space because of the way it was constructed and the giant slant on the ceiling. I don't know. Uh, you know, my, my other studio here is almost like a miniature version of the same thing. Right. Right. Uh, though we know what we're dealing with now when we think about recording spaces. And at the time, we just knew something sounded good, right? Yeah, it might take, you know, 400 <laughs> tries to, oh, we should have put the mic in the fridge. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, that's just, you know, it was early days, you know, we, we didn't know anything. I mean, what, you had a couple of books, I think. I, I think did. You gave, you gave me a couple of books on multi-track recording, but it was sort of like, it didn't, it didn't really make any sense. They were from the early 80s and, you know, you get cool at a pro and you, you group waveform normalizing. And it's like, it's a whole different world. Right. Let's hear this last track for today's Doncast. And it's track number, lucky number 13. This, this is not the last. We have a bonus. Oh. I do not know which, which one this is. Okay. Oh! Nice. I've always loved this track. This is one of your MIDI projects. Now, this is played live and recorded oh. on four-track cassette. Nice. Sounds great. Ikai AX73. <laughs> that is thunderous. <laughs> I like this part. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> yeah, I had four tracks. I didn't know what to do with them. They're great. Oh, I hope this is over soon. Yeah, so this is one by you. I, I've always loved this thing. Uh, see, this fall, th it falls apart here, though. Keyboard number three is all fucked up. I like it. Me. That is a thing of beauty. That is nice. That is nice. I'm telling you. And that's, that's, so that's, that's, this is a good time to bring this up. So the, this started the tradition of you and I always putting on two solo songs on a Dom Lones project. That's right. That's right. And, and that was one of yours for this one, I think. Or, or yeah. However you know, many, I think we always were like at least one or two or something, but sometimes we had more or less. Within a few months of running between houses and making tracks and burning discs, uh, I got to say, it was incredible for me to have you to be able to hand a disc to. And you and I understood where each other were at with the technology uh, you understood my keyboard playing. I understood your guitar playing. And I was, oh, I always knew no matter what track it was, I wonder what Jacob would think of this and yeah. or boy, I can't wait to play this for him. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, and I can, uh, I can echo that a hundred percent. Not, 100%, there's not 100%. many people, you know, uh, I could, I could turn, I took, I could try to turn on people to the music that I've created solo and with you and towards the DLP and otherwise. And uh, no one, very few people have that like strata in my brain where I'm thinking huh. about, hey, what would Jacob think of this? Yeah, I, I can say the same thing, uh, you know, about you. It's, it's, a, it's a funny, 
it's a funny thing. And it's, you know, it's not, it's not just a general, you know, Hmm, I wonder what they'll say. Uh, there is also always a little bit of like, at least I, I always thought, you know, I want to, I want to make something that, you know, he'll really be surprised by, you know, right. Like, if at right. all possible, if at all possible. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Um, you know, and I started to work in projects later on and doing albums and covers and all kinds of stuff. Your solo work as represented on the bonus playlist on YouTube uh, is incredible. Look oh, for any thanks. track that says uh, by Jacob Snyder of the Don Loans Project. Not to jump ahead, but do you realize the Menden song is live? Oh, really? Wow, that's, I haven't thought about that in a while. Oh, it's there, man. That's that was the when I that was like the day that I got that T one hundred organ that Hammond, my very first Hammond, from right down the street. It was literally like I don't know the the next driveway down or two. Yeah, well, that was that was a. Uh, I was really reiterating on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's. Are we not going to get to I Remember You to do? Jeez, that's our best I, song. I don't, I don't know what tracks are on this, okay? So right, let's well, hear so the let's, ones. Let's hear the ones. Uh, I'll play you the beginning of uh, well, the next one, track 14. Okay. Good at. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> That's a different mix of spaceship situation on this. Thank disc. God. Here's the last track on the disc. Walking slowly to his house. What the fuck is this? Wondered <laughs> what it meant. This doesn't exist on the YouTube one. Face slapped, face slapped, face woman. By a woman. Dark. Dark. <laughs> yeah. God. We eliminated most of these vocals. So. Oh, that was not good either. So, something better is going to happen. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. Oh my god. There's your bonus. There you go. The original old man Hammond mix for the first time ever in public. And some cats. Even a llama. Peruvian bats. Oh, our first time traveling song. They called him the greatest that there'd ever been. We always wanted like <laughs> drums in this. I know. It would be so cool with drums. Saratoga. Saratoga. On the lawn. Yeah, see, this is a good tip. Beginning is not, but no. Ooh. It's clapping there. I love that keyboard. Old man Hammond, waving the best. Joe Bob Two Tone, the great Joe Less. The great Joe Less. Stared at a rack. Whoa. She didn't protest. And they went out back and he cried. And he cried. Or is smashing the clock 
It's like a dirty old man organ player. Yeah, I think that's the vision. Because yeah. there's there's quite a lot of uh, misogyny. Yeah, it's definitely a character song. Right, like we're trying to write about this old man Hammond. Though ni- neither of us had been acquainted with a Hammond yet. I had no. one when I was a kid. But I had no idea what to do with it. This is the Casio CZ1000. Oh, that's huh. how it ends. Cool. That's the end of the original Old Man Hammond. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, it, it, I think that was a very good bonus. That was a very nice walk through some early DLP. Yeah, for sure. That, that was good. Now, we, we somehow missed the what I think are the only three standout tracks. However, there are like, what, 17 tracks on that thing? So how Oh, yeah. No, I think we need another Doncast to talk more about the creation. Because how long did we let this, like, DLP1 incubate? I think it was nine, ten months. Was it that long? Yeah, it could have been. I, I feel like we're, our projects were always within a calendar year somehow. I mean, if that makes sense... Let's imagine every week there was an original song plus like two or three others. Yeah. Over nine or ten months. That makes sense based on the amount of stuff that there is. Yeah, no, you're not you're not wrong. Absolutely. Um so you know, it's not it, it, I think it's fine uh to take up some more time and talk more about DLP one because really old man Hammond, what we just heard. I think it's the first song that was ever organized enough for you to take an electric guitar solo over. Hmm. That's possible. I don't know of, I, I don't know of any other early electric guitar and that sounds really fun, man. Well, I think it seems, uh, it fits with the material, hopefully I think, but yeah, we, we, we weren't, we were we never did a lot of solos. I uh, I, I beg to differ. Your electric guitar work <laughs> I, will I don't think. Your electric guitar work will become part of the feature of the Don Loans project later works. Oh great. <laughs> it it does, man. <laughs> I mean when we decide we're gonna be Steely Dan and not like, any not any more than anything you do. It's the same it's the same shit. We're just trying to make something happen. Anything, yeah. something happened. <laughs> uh, you know, and there's always that question, what were we trying to do and trying to explain ourselves? Uh, here, it was trying to write songs, and I think we identified, like, these character songs, and maybe Old Man Hammond was one of the better ones of those. Well, uh, I think we would find out in short order that character songs are fine, if you're writing about someone you know or something you know, but right. make making up these things off the cuff, like you know, you're doing a, it, they almost sound like like pitch meetings, you know? They're like, <laughs> oh yeah, and there's this guy and he does a thing and <laughs> off they go and there's a spaceship. Oh yeah, sounds great. Make a song, you know? Then, right. <laughs> and then the sun comes and then it's oh really yeah 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 yeah, yeah sure no. yeah no it sounds great it's a good it's got a great story arc yeah. I mean, I, I was engaged in a lot of creative writing at the time. And I think some of our wordplay, uh, it's very cute. It's a little uh, transparent and, and uh, youthful in that way. We, um, we, we do end up taking, uh, though, I think, the <laughs> fun, g- good wordplay and outside of the realm of cutesy to a, to a really high level later as we go through some of the rest of these songs in, in the future. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, they get some, they get some better. Great, my manual. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's, it, it's, and some of them are just really, really good. Like the lyrics are really good and they're about actual characters, whether they're pe- uh, people or places. <laughs> they're about actual things. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and that's way better. Like when the sun, the sun hit. And for 16 (laughs) rounds, the guitar raged. Well, do you remember, what was it? uh, Was it the year year before last we had the the eclipse? 
Right, right. So I was out. Um, I was out actually bailing hay that day, which really sucked because all of a sudden it, everything cooled off and got damp, like right in the middle of like one of the best bail, bailing days we'd had. And I, I remember thinking we didn't think it was going to be the sun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Any, any awards you want to give out this week? Oh, uh, this week in awards. Um, are, are we doing Don Loans awards or just in general? Oh yeah. You can award anything to anyone. All right. Well, I'm this week's award goes to you for your tireless effort on the bonus. Oh, so, so Thank I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you that one because if, if, if people check that out and they see just the sheer amount of crap you had to go through to put that many songs out. I mean, it must give you an idea of what else remains unreleased. So that, you know, kudos to you for doing all that. man. I bet less than 15% exists of unreleased material. Yeah. I'd say 15 to 20. Like it's, it's getting down there and we're well represented and for the albums that we did, boy, we sure did a lot of other stuff. Um, and <coughs> it just kind of never got collected. Um, we, at this point, in when we were producing DLP1 tracks, we didn't really have a way to move a session from Bennington to Newfane or Newfane to Bennington. There was no, like, USB flash drive. They well, they had they had them, but it was they were so prohibitively expensive, and you only saw them in movies like Mission Impossible. So it was like you weren't you weren't buying that shit, right? So um, we had CDRs, we, and uh, we started with those, and sometimes we would split the tracks up between two discs for right. one session. But that Crazy process, that. I think that process was still cumbersome enough that it kept us creating new material because. It was just more fun to take on something new. Oh yeah, for sure. No, that that was uh, you know, if the the cat, but you you couldn't be lax on any of the cataloging you're saving. It's not like it is now with these these audio editors that everything sort of intuitively works. Right. You know, like nothing nothing worked. Wait, oh. do I want to do I want to save all save all waves or save all waves and overwrite or what? I, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, you know. th- there was there was a lot of frustration that went into the production of the tracks that we we heard today. And you and um, I have certainly lost our fair share of uh, media in digital recording. Like, hey, computer just crapped out. We'll turn it back on, see if it's got it. Who knows? Right. Like that has definitely happened on multiple occasions. So technology has become more stable i am going to give out the award uh my award to you this week whoa for the uh for what we heard spaceship situation b part where the fuzz bass and the acoustic guitar are almost exactly matched yeah i think they are doubling or trying to double uh, and no, I, I, I don't think you missed a note. Now, it might have taken us a little while to get that down where you don't miss a note. But I got to say, from, e- you know, even though some of these have their flaws, you're not going to hear many missed notes unless it's something we can't control like trumpets or vocals <laughs> until later. So, yeah, and, of the things we could control, we did okay at it. I, I th- that's a good award. Yeah, cool. Hey, that's better than last time. You know, it's gonna, yeah. Watch this. Oh yeah, no, that's way better. I, I like that, man. That's that's pretty good. You're pretty smooth. Thank you. And that and that brings us to the end. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. It's been a hoot. We hoot. Uh, we like hearing you. We like hearing from you. You know, That's give us right. a shout. Give us a shout on YouTube. You know, if you like the podcast, go ahead, put some comments up there. Tell us how you feel. If you don't like it, tell us that too. We love oh, it. feel free to subscribe. So yeah, like, then, comment, subscribe, all that shit. If I find a disc that uh, looks like it's been used to move furniture, yes, and oh, I'm yeah. able to extract extract a few original zeros and ones. I will upload it, so subscribe, and you'll get a notification immediately. 
Wow. I know. <laughs> this is so great. All right. Till next time. Thanks, folks. I do.